Hello again. So today I am going to be reviewing this eyeshadow palette right here. And this is the She Glam Stay Juicy Los Angeles palette. Look at the packaging on this. This is from Shein. It has wet looking embossing on the box and this whole part right here is embossed. The eyeshadow palette itself looks like this. Also says Los Angeles Stay Juicy She Glam. This is what it looks like when you open it up. It doesn't have a mirror. It does have a protective covering on it, which is plastic. And we have a beautiful array of oranges and some neutrals. So this is very nice color story. It totally goes with the packaging itself. Very pretty. So on the back of the box, it says that there are some shades right here that are not meant to go on the eye. Uh, so it's several of them. It's Girl on Fire, Sunset Boulevard, Beverly Thrills, Fame in Excess, Oscar Gold, Orange You're Famous. Aren't you famous? Uh, aren't you famous? <laughs> so yeah, those are not supposed to go on the eye. So what I can tell is that this one right here is a very chunky glitter. This one right there. This one is a shimmer. That's a glitter but it's more like a micro glitter this one is another glitter that is very glittery and then i feel like the other ones that it says that shouldn't go on the eyes they're matte but maybe they're pigments and some people do get irritation from pigments and that's why they are suggesting or telling you that they shouldn't go on the eye anyways i am going to go ahead and swatch them now and then I am going to be doing three looks with them. And at the end, I'm going to give you my opinion. From the swatches, I can tell that they're going to be gorgeous, gorgeous shadows, like, oh my gosh. I will now begin look number one, and look number one is gonna start with this one right here, Girl on Fire. I am going to be using that on my crease. I have a little secret. <laughs> the oranges are my favorite eyeshadows. I love oranges. Now I'm going to be grabbing Angel Made, which is this one right here, this big shade right there, which is a matte, and I am going to be using that on my lid. By the way, Girl on Fire is also a matte. Next I'm going to be grabbing Sunset Boulevard, which is this shade right here. It's an orangey red or a reddish orange. And I believe it's the brightest of the shades in this palette. I'm going to be using that on my outer crease and my outer lid. And this is what it looks like. Oh my gosh. Such a beautiful shade. Oh my gosh. In person, it is looking so pretty. I absolutely love this. So I have not blended yet, but now I am going to blend. So I'm going to be using a fluffy brush to blend. So I use Angel Made, which I had used on my lid, and I'm using it 
under my brow and I am blending it into the one I have on top which is Girl on Fire and this is what it's looking like so far. I will now be grabbing Orange Chewer Famous, this one. Shouldn't be Orange Chew Famous, but it's Orange Your Famous, so that's kind of weird. But anyways, it's going to be this one right here. And I am going to be using this shade on my inner corner. I feel like it's more like a glittery, like a micro glitter. You can barely see it. So let me try to add it with my finger. Because it looks like this. Now I'm going to be grabbing Glitz and Tell, which is this one right there, that chunky glitter right there, and I'm going to be adding that to my lid. It's really hard to see it. Um, so this is one of those shades that it's not meant to go on the eye. <laughs> and I would normally put this on with a glitter primer, which is kind of like a glue, but I am gonna take this right off to do the next look, and that's the only reason why I'm just like putting it like that. It does grab on though. It's not like it just like falls all over the place because it does feel like it's a little bit wet. Not wet, but it feels like it's on a gel background. I am now gonna grab Girl on Fire again and I'm gonna use it on my lower lash line. On my lips, I'm going to be using this Wet n Wild Cloud Pout Marshmallow Lip Mousse in the shade Sugarholic. And this is finished look number one, Girl on Fire. On to look number two. All right, so now I'm going to go on to look number two. And for look number two, I am going to be taking I Hollywood if I could. I Hollywood if I could. I'm trying to figure out what they meant by that. Anyways, and I am going to be using that on my lid and on my crease. I'm just loving this. By the way, there's still glitter just floating around. Bear with me. <laughs> All right, now I'm going to be grabbing Beverly Thrills, which is this one right here. And I'm gonna be using that on my outer edge. All right, so now I am going to grab this one right here, that beige shade, which is called Angel Made. And I am going to be using that right here at the top. And I'm going to try to blend it into the one underneath just to soften up the edge. I have like kind of like semi hooded eyelids. Um, my eyelid kind of this part right here, it kind of goes over my lid a little bit. So you could barely see much of my lid area, only like the inside part. So I try to bring the color up all the way up here so that when my eyes are completely open, uh, you can actually see the color. All right, so I did that. And on top of that, my eyes, my two eyes are different uh, sizes. I did get Bell's Palsy when I was a young adult and that forever changed my eye size. I feel like one is a little more droopy than the other one, so they look like different sizes. Okay, so now I'm going to be grabbing Oscar Gold, and Oscar Gold is gold, <laughs> so it's this one right here. I am going to be grabbing that and using it on my lower lash line. 
All right, so Oscar Gold, it's one of those shades that looks better when you do it with your finger, but with the precision I need when applying this on my lower, at, lower lash line, I can't do it with my finger. So I'm gonna try to add a little bit of setting spray to my brush. That really wet my brush. Okay, I'm gonna try to do it this way and hopefully that works a little bit better. See? Okay, so what I'm gonna do is add the same one on the top right here. All right, for this look, I'm gonna add a little bit of eyeliner. On my lips, I'm using the Wet n Wild Cloud Pout Marshmallow Lip Mousse. And this is the shade Marshmallow Madness. So this is finished look number two, Beverly Hills. On to look number three. All right, so look number three is going to be called Fame and Excess, and I am going to begin with Avocado Toast. So Avocado Toast is this taupe shade right here. I don't know, it's Avocado Toast because toast is kind of like that, but avocado's green, it has no green in it. So it's a taupey brownish shade. Very cool tone brown. Okay. I'm going to grab Angel Made again. This is like my neutral shade. I am now going to be using this one right here, which is called Ulela, and I am going to be using this on my lid. I feel like with the brush, it's not really showing up. So let me grab it with my finger. Now I'm going to be grabbing Stay Grounded, which is the darkest shade in the palette, this dark brown right here, and I'm going to be using that. Oh, this, looks, this looks like it's gonna be pigmented. Right here, on my outer lid, on my outer crease. So I'm going to grab the same Angel Made and add it right here so that I can blend it with this uh, Stay Grounded shade because I just want to blend. I'm going to do this a lot. Now I'm going to grab Stay Grounded and use it on my lower lash line. Now I'm going to grab Fame and Excess, and that is the shade right there. And this is a glitter. So I'm gonna be using that on my lid. On my lips, I'm using this right here, and this is in the shade Flutter Nutter. This is finished look number three, Fame and Excess.
right. So final thoughts. Um, this was a first impressions. I had never used this palette before. <sighs> final thoughts, final thoughts. Okay, so I didn't mention the gold around the pants, the that circle ring it has around each of the pants. And that just gives it like an extra uh, pizzazz, I guess. <laughs> I love how that looks. I feel like this eyeshadow palette just looks really nice. Like I love the packaging of it. I love the color story. The shades are very pigmented. The ones that um, are not pigmented are the ones that are just glitters, obviously. Like for example, the uh, Glitz and Tell, the um, Fame and Excess, but the rest of them are actually pigmented. Now this one right here, ooh la la, I don't know if it's because of my skin tone, I'm not sure, but I just feel like it wasn't translating onto my eyelid. Like I don't know why, because like you can see it on my finger that you can actually see it very well, but it was not translating to my eyelid. You see how it go goes on like a lot lighter than what it looks like on the finger. And that's usually not the case with eyeshadows. So that's kind of strange, but it's a nice shade anyways. It kind of looks a little bit kind of like metallic, but just like a tiny little bit. So there are seven mattes, which are these right here, these right here, these right here. Then we have these two glitters right there and then we have this one and these these are like shimmery kind of satins and then i think the three of these are like shimmers right there shimmery or satins or something like that anyways um they blend it really well i feel though like this one right here which is stay grounded usually like dark shades they don't always blend well sometimes they're a little bit patchy and i don't know i mean i am still trying to like figure this one out because like i don't know in some lighting it looks a little bit patchy but in others it looks like pretty solid so hmm, i'm not sure but i think that it, it's actually fine so yeah they blend it really well they're not chalky i feel they're not creamy either but they do blend really well and even though like i keep um adding it to my lid and it doesn't thin out or like it doesn't sheer out it just like keeps going on strong because they're very pigmented <laughs> so this one right here i feel like it's so pigmented that it just like was really hard to take off of my eye with the baby wipes and I think that's why they say that they shouldn't be used on the eye because they're pigments. It doesn't say that they're pigments, but I believe that they are. One thing I love about this palette is that you can go from like daytime looks to nighttime looks and everything in between. Uh, it's very versatile. By the way, it is a great price. It is less than $10. I believe that it was around $8. I'll leave the information down below. Perfect. It is perfect. So that is the end of my video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you have any questions down in the comments below. And until next time, have a great day and stay safe out there. <laughs> Bye.